Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. You make me feel young. Your joy, your happiness, your expectation, your clapping, everything creates an atmosphere of expectation and joy, a miracle for everyone in Jesus' name. Miracles will spill over. Tonight is going to be a special night for you. The Lord will touch you. The Lord will reach you. Every expectation. Did you hear the pastor? The Lord will go beyond your expectation in Jesus' name. What are you there? Father, we thank you today. And we bless your name. Thank you, Lord, for giving us Christ. Oh, it's a Passover. Who oh, is our peace? Who oh, is our power? Who oh, is all in all for every one of us? We're asking tonight you'll touch everyone miraculously in Jesus' name. Great miracle for everyone. Everyone here at the Alpha location, everyone in every place in the locations in Nigeria. Africa, beyond Africa, everywhere, in Jesus' name. Amen. Glorify yourself in every life. Amen. And the joy that has started in the heart of everyone will never stop. Amen. We'll keep on growing. Amen. Joy, peace, faith, healing, deliverance, power for every hour in every life. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. You can sit down. Tonight, we come to an important message. Yesterday, we started with Christ, our Passover. And because Christ died for us, now every problem, every calamity, Every judgment, every punishment, eternal suffering will pass away from you. And tonight, we come to Christ, our peace. Look at Ephesians chapter 2, and I'm reading from verse 12. Ephesians chapter 2, reading from verse 12. Look at this, that at that time, ye were without Christ, being aliens to the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise, having no hope without God in the world at that time. But at this time now, things have changed. Amen. And you hear your amen. amen. At the time before we knew Christ, at the time before we gave our lives to Him, at the time before we plugged in into the power, into the source of all blessings from heaven. At that time, no hope. At that time, no joy. At that time, no peace. At that time, no blessing. But at this time now, look at verse 13. In verse 13, but now. Somebody shout, but now, my life will never be the same. But now, sickness will not have any hold on me anymore. But now, calamity will be swept away from the front of your house in Jesus' name. But now, in Christ Jesus, ye who was sometimes far off and made nice by the blood of Christ, Verse 14, for he is our peace. For he is our peace. Peace in your heart. Peace in your home. Peace in your community. Everywhere you go, peace will follow you in Jesus' name. All the turmoil, 
all the confusion all the anxiety all the worry all the fear and all the whatever everything is going because now for he is our peace who has made both one and has broken down the middle wall of partition between us look at verse 15 it says in verse 15 it tells us having abolished in his flesh the enmity even the law of commandments contained in the ordinances for to make in himself of twain one new man so making making what peace. making peace peace for you yeah. and from tonight everything that has troubled your life tormented your life jolted your life squeezed your life by the grace of god in christ you are free tonight yeah. christ our peace make it personal christ my peace three things we're looking at tonight look at this number one true reconciliation and peace with god reconciliation and peace with god number two total redemption with the peace of god number three transparent relationships and peace with godliness look at number one number one we're looking at reconciliation and peace with God. We have read Ephesians already. Let's look at that again. Chapter 2, verse 14. In chapter 2, verse 14, for he Christ, he the Savior, he the substitute, he who took away your punishment, he is our peace, who has made both one, who has made both the Jew and the Gentile one. What does that mean? Anything, any Jew ever got from the Lord, the Gentile will get from the Lord. He has made both the Jew and the Gentile one. Did the Jews have salvation? Gentiles will have salvation. Did the Jews have peace of mind? Gentiles will have peace of mind. Did the Jews have assurance that God is mine? The Gentiles will have assurance God is mine. Anything any other person ever got, you will get. Did those people at the time of Christ, did they get healing? You will get healing. Did they get deliverance? You'll get deliverance. Did they have joy? You will have joy. He has made both of them and us. He has made one. And he has broken down the middle wall of partition between us. The partition that, okay, I'm a Jew. I can have this. I can have this. I can have this from God. But you are a Gentile. All that wall of partition the wall is broken down the man and the woman okay i'm a man i can have this i can have that you are a woman all that wall is broken down and now everybody can enter into the blessing of god and tonight i invite you enter into blessing enter into salvation enter into the peace of God and enter into the miracle power of the Lord in Jesus name Amen. three things we're looking at number one reconciliation with God and peace through Christ number two rejection by God without peace of conscience number three release from guilt after the prayer of Confession. Look at number one. Reconciliation with God and peace through Christ. We're looking at 2 Corinthians chapter 5. And we're looking at verse 18. In 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 18. And all things of God was reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ. The one who brings the reconciliation. Now, when we talk of reconciliation, it's like A and B are at enmity. 
And maybe it's one of them that is causing the, the enmity. B is doing something you know, that the A does not appreciate. And A is the Almighty. It's the all-powerful, it's the omnipotent, it's the creator. And then B is just a little base fellow. And he's doing something against the almighty. And the almighty says, base man, base woman, don't do that. That is not right. It's law, it's expectation, it's righteous standard does not permit be the base man and the base woman to do that. And the base man be and the base woman and the base child continues to do that thing. So A, the Almighty that has all power to punish him said, you continue to do that and you are base, all right. I show you Almighty power and then Christ the son of god your own savior your own redeemer who did not want you to perish he came in between and he said father i'll stand for this base person and because of me pardon him and the father said my son jesus i can never never say no to you Anytime, anything you tell me, I have to do because you're my only begotten son and because you have given yourself as the Passover lamb. Behold the lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world. And so all things are of God who has reconciled us to himself by Jesus Christ and he has given us the ministry of reconciliation he sent me to call you and to tell you all problems can be over tonight he told me to tell you that all your accounts with heaven can be settled tonight and then you are reconciled with God there's peace through the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at verse 19. In verse 19, to which that God was in Christ, reconciling the world unto himself. Everyone in the world, there's no partiality. There's no discrimination. Whether you are up or you are down, you are small, you are big, reconciliation is for you. Christ did that for you whatever sin you have committed now look at this man the one who wrote the epistle to the corinthians his name saul who became paul that man he himself said he was the worst of sinners the most terrible of all sinners he was reconciled to god and then he said this is acceptable and it's a good, faithful of all saints that God sent Christ into the world to die for all sinners. And this grace and this peace and this reconciliation has come to you. I said it has come to you. If anybody here misses heaven, it's not the fault of God. Not the fault of Christ, it's not the fault of the preacher, it's the fault of the man, the woman who knows that the way is open for reconciliation and he stands back. I'm looking at you. You will not miss heaven. Amen. Tell me back now. I will not miss heaven. You can be reconciled today. You'll be reconciled in Jesus' name. And then he says, not in building their trespasses unto them. And he has committed unto us the word of reconciliation. Look at verse 20. In verse 20, now then we are ambassadors for Christ. As though God did beseech you by us, we pray you, we plead with you. In Christ's church, 
be ye reconciled unto God. Tonight is the night of your reconciliation. Let's look at number two there. Number two there, rejection by God without peace of conscience. The people that do not respond to the message of life. The people that they, they're too busy on minor, they major on minor things. They concentrate on useless things, worthless things. And they do not concentrate on the peace the Lord has brought to them. They remain like that. You will not remain like that. Look at Isaiah chapter 48 verse 22. There is no peace, says the Lord, unto the wicked. And everyone is wicked. Everyone, all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. I am not better than you are. You are not better than I am. He is not better than her. She is not better than him. All have sinned. The difference is, those of us who now have peace, we led our past. And we came to the Passover lamb, to the Lord Jesus Christ, and has received us. The only difference is that we believed in him. The only difference, we came to him. The only difference, when we came, he gave us peace, he gave us pardon, and he gave us salvation. And you can become like us, you can have the peace of God tonight. I said you can have the peace of God tonight. You can just say, I want peace too. And I know it can only come through Jesus Christ. Lord, I come. Lord, I come. And the door of reconciliation will be open for you in Jesus' name. And look at Romans chapter 14. I'm reading from verse 17. In Romans chapter 14, verse 17, for the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. You see, there are people during this uh, time of festivities now, they remember that Christ died on the cross of Calvary, and then they carry palm leaves and all that, and they go around the town and they sing, they do that in the village, and then they make the sign of the cross with uh, palm fronts and hang it in front of the village uh, church building, and then they sing uh, the songs about the dead, and they think that is all. And then on Sunday, they will send plates of food, rice and uh, jollof rice and meat, and they say they are celebrating Easter. The kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, righteousness from Calvary, and peace, peace from Christ, and joy in the Holy Ghost. I pray this Easter period will be the most blessed in your life in Jesus' name. Because the peace of God will come into your life. Look at number three here. Number three, release from guilt after the prayer of confession. The Lord is releasing you from condemnation and from everything that makes your heart to be beating with fear tonight. Release. Release. Shout it. Release. Condemnation gone. That Satan following you every time saying, uh, you're a sinner, you're a bad man, you're a bad woman, you're an evil person, and nothing good will ever happen. And then you're upset because you know how bad you are. You didn't know that Jesus Christ nailed all your sins on the cross of Calvary. And tonight, when you give your life to Christ, and then you have the peace of God in your life, if Satan comes again, you say, Satan, you come too late now. He comes too late. I said he comes too late. Because the peace of God will reign in your heart in Jesus' name. How will that happen? Look at this, First John chapter 1, verse 9. First John chapter 1, verse 9. If we confess our sins, that's all. If we confess 
our sins actually when it says if we confess our sins it's like telling us the obvious it's like if you come to me you're a man and then you say i am a man i said that's right i can see that even before you said that or you came and you said i am a woman i said i can see that i knew that before you said so so when you come to god and say god i'm a sinner I said yes i know yes i know yes i know because number one all have seen i come short of the glory of god so you and saying lord i'm a sinner you confess your sin that's right that's the normal thing but if a man comes to me and you can see he's a man everybody knows he's a man and then he says i'm a woman i said that's a lie and he says it believingly he's serious about it i said it's a lie we know you are a man and he's claiming to be a woman or if a woman comes and then says look at me a man i said that's a lie everybody can tell you're a woman when a sinner comes to god and he says god i'm good i'm clean i'm nice i'm not like other people i'm gentle i help other people i'm not a sinner God says, you are a liar. All have seen and come short of the glory of God. Apart from that, they practice the action of your life. He knows everything. So, there's no point hiding. We come and we confess. And we say what God already knows. And when you say that with the mind, I will not continue like that again. I will not go in that direction of sinfulness again. He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Look at that verse. You do one thing. God will do four things. Only one if we confess our sins. We come sober serious and we come sincere and we say lord i don't have peace in my heart i know the reason why i've not been living right i hurt my neighbors i hurt my family members i do things i shouldn't do i feel the guilt in short in conclusion i confess I'm a sinner and I will not go that direction again. Number one, God is faithful. He called you. He said, Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Number two, God is just. He laid your sin on Christ. It's only begotten son. Number three, he forgives. He forgives all your sins. Number four, he cleanses you from all unrighteousness. Isn't it good to spend only one note of currency and get something worth four times of what you give? Why don't you then today make up your mind how to do just that one thing and then God will do four things. He'll be faithful to you. Amen. I said he'll be faithful to you. Amen. He will be just to you. He will forgive you all the sins you ever committed in your life. Amen. I was waiting for a good amen. amen. And then he will cleanse you from all unrighteousness even tonight in jesus name point number two now in point number two total redemption with peace of god what kind of redemption total full complete tonight is coming your way i said tonight is coming your way very things the surpassing peace of God in his songs. Number two, the supreme peace of God in the sanctified. 
Number three, the submissive peace and gentleness among the saints. Look at number one, the surpassing peace of God in his sons. We're looking at uh, in Philippians chapter 4, reading from verse 7. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, shall keep your hearts and mind through Christ Jesus. Give me a good amen there. Amen. The peace of God in the turmoil all over the world, in the confusion everywhere in the world, you, as you have Christ, our peace in your heart, in your spirit, in your soul, in your inner man, the peace of God that nobody can understand will reign in your life, in your heart, in Jesus' name. And then verse 8, in verse 8, finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things are honest, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, and whatever things are good report, if there be any virtue, and if there be any praise, think on these things. Now your life takes a new value, a new appearance, a new approach that now the things you think about, you're not thinking about things that are not true. Some people, they think about things that are not true. They say, God or no God, Christ or no Christ, salvation or no salvation, I'm going to have peace of mind. That's not true. Don't think about that. Other people say things that are not honest, not honest in the fact that Christ died for you. And the honest thing is to see him. He died for you appreciate him he died for you and then you become dishonest to him i don't recognize that christ he didn't die for me that's dishonest after he paid such a great price and the things that are just it's only just that if somebody has paid for a whole car and he has given it to you and he brought all his earnings all his savings to buy that car and give it to you the just thing will be when you talk to your brother to your friend how did you get this car so and so all the savings he put it on this car and bought it for me and the same thing if christ paid it all and he paid all your debt and now you can have salvation you give him recognition you say he's my savior that's just he's my redeemer that's just you will come to the lord and say now i own you as the lord and the savior of my life and today the peace of god will settle in your heart look at verse 9 in verse 9 those things which ye have both learned and received and heard and seen in me do, and the God of peace shall be with you. Amen. Tonight, what you have heard about repentance, what you have received about faith in Christ, what you have heard about turning away from your sin, and what you have seen in Son himself, Paul, that he turned and believed in the Lord. As you do that tonight, that same salvation, that same reconciliation that came to him will come to you. Are you there? I'm searching for you. Salvation will come. Reconciliation will come and the God of peace shall be with you. The peace of God will so settle in your heart tonight when you are going home, peace. When you are going to sleep, peace. All through the night, peace. As you wake up in the morning, peace in your heart, in your life, in Jesus' name. 
Look at number two here. Number two here is the supreme peace of God in the sanctified. I want you to look at Colossians chapter 3 and we're reading verse 15. Colossians chapter 3 verse 15 and let the peace of God rule in your heart anything when you get saved after that you go back to the lord again he will sanctify you and then you'll not be acting um, kind of uh, impetuously anymore because now whatever happens the peace of god will be the ruler in your life will be the controller in your life you know somebody has done something and bumped at you before you react the peace of god and the god of peace that is ruling in your heart will say hold on don't say anything yet and because that peace is ruling in your heart you'll not say anything and anything you are going to say after that peace will come out of your mouth out of the abundance of the heart the mouth speaketh, and it says to the witch also, ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. Be ye thankful. You know, as you live throughout your life, something happens, and then uh, yeah, you need to be thankful unto God. How do we do that? Let's say, for example, now, you turn on the tap, and there's no water. Instead of murmuring and complaining, the peace of God ruling in your heart. Well, thank God for, I had water yesterday. I had water one week ago. I had water all through this time. Only this once. What if there were no water for a whole month? I thank God you are thankful in everything. And then you want to, you know, like this afternoon now, rain came. And you say, oh, can rain come? Don't talk like that. Let the peace of God rule in your heart. Isn't it wonderful? The ground is dusty and the Lord allowed the rain to come. And now the ground is not dusty like it was anymore. Always find a reason as the peace of God is ruling in your heart to give thanks unto God. You will. Amen. And then I said you will. Amen. Look at you now. You're going and going and going in the morning. And you say good morning to somebody. And uh, you know he did not respond. Good morning. Then you don't say look at him. Look at his behavior. Look at his lifestyle. No. You say we don't know. Maybe he has a body. He has a problem that I don't know about. He's so bodied that good morning for him, for her, is not the most important thing now. And me, I'm so, you know, I'm so free and the Lord is helping me and I don't carry the kind of problem he carries or she carries. Oh Lord, I thank you. Not only that, 100 other people are saying good morning, good morning, good morning to you. Only one person. You are thankful. In your life, after you come to give your life to the Lord, you'll be grateful to the Lord for everything that happens in Jesus' name. Look at number three here. Number three is the submissive peace and gentleness among the saints. Now, when we become children of God and the peace of God is in our heart, we're not looking for trouble anymore. And we're not looking for fight anymore. We're not looking for somebody that, you know, uh, you know, things are so quiet. I want uh, discomfort and discomfort. No, you want to be at peace with everybody now. You say, I'm happy. I want him to be happy. I'm peaceful. I want her to be peaceful. I'm, I'm enjoying my Christian life and I am all joy, a bundle of joy. I want him, I want her to be a bundle of joy too that gives us that peace with everyone and at all times. And I pray the peace of God will reign in our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Romans chapter 14, I'm reading from verse 17. Romans chapter 14, we're reading from verse 17. It tells us in Romans 14, 17, For the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but 
righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. You see this peace of God and the joy of the Lord, it brings healing. It brings strength. Actually, we're told in Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 10, the joy of the Lord is your strength. From tonight, the joy of the Lord is your strength in Jesus' name. We're told in Proverbs, it says, A merry heart doeth good like medicine. A merry heart, a joyful heart, a happy heart, a peaceful heart will do good like medicine in your life in Jesus' name. I'm going to tell you a story. Before I tell you the story, shout joy. If you want the story, I say shout joy. That joy will come to your life. We went to the crusade in the northeast. That's uh, okay, almost going to two months now. And as we got there, there was this woman. She had fiber. The belly was big like this. And they had tested her. And as they tested her, they saw that all they can do is to do operation for her. And then we arrived. As we arrived, then the young people and coppers, everyone, they blew their trumpets and then they circulated that everywhere. And then the news, he has come. The GS has come. She was already in the hospital. What did I say she had? Tell me now. Fiber. She was already on the hospital bed, and um, what she had, she was happy, very joyful. And as the joy came to her, she felt like going to the toilet. And when she got to the toilet, lo and behold, fibroid came out. Today, I will let you see it directly yourself. I'm going to stop now. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. My name is Blessing Francis. I'm from Gaso, local government area of Talaba State. I am here to testify to the goodness of God, what He has done in my life. I was having excruciating pain in the stomach, not knowing what the problem was. When I went to the hospital, the doctor diagnosed fibroid, and I was booked for operation. But it all happened on the day that our Pastor W.F. Kumi will come to Janingo for supernatural liberation through Christ, Yoba Kusid. On the day he landed Janingo, the joy of his arrival overwhelmed my heart. And I felt pressed. I went to the restroom. And there, the supernatural power of God touched me and the fibroid came out on its own. What I would have spent money in the hospital, the Lord did it for me, free of charge. Free of charge. I am singing for joy. For you. That what? Free of charge. For you. Joy. And as the joy of God fills your heart, fibroid will vanish away. Insanity will vanish away. All those problems initiated by the enemy, by the devil, the joy of the Lord will drive them out of your life in Jesus' name. And so, look at verse 18 here. Romans chapter 14, verse 18. For he 
that is in these six serving the Lord Christ is acceptable to God and approved of men. And then in verse 19, let us therefore follow after the things which make for peace. Let us follow with our wives, with our husbands, with our children, with our brothers and sisters, with everyone around, because the way of peace is the way of blessing. Blessing in your life. When any problem happens, and then you wonder, what should I look at what this man has done? Well, look at this, what this woman has said. Now, think of the blessing you're expecting, and think of being at peace with him. Which one is more important, to fight and lose your blessing, or to be at peace and get abundance of blessings? Which one is better? Be at peace. You'll be at peace. I see you there, your life is peaceful. And your attitude from tonight, as Christ, our peace comes to your life, your life is peaceful in Jesus' name. Let's come to number three now. Number three, we're looking at transparent relationships and peace with godliness. We're looking at these three things. Number one, following peace and holiness before the highest, that is, before the Almighty. Number two, forsaking pride and haughtiness from hell. And uh, number three, fullness of peace and hope of heaven. Hope of heaven. Hope of heaven. When you get to heaven, your joy will not be limited. And you are going to get there. I am going to get there. Number one, look at number one, following peace and holiness before the highest. Look at Hebrews chapter 12, verse 14, follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Follow peace with all men. You know, when we know Christ, He is the Prince of Peace, and He lives in our lives. And whatever is happening, wherever we are going, Christ will go before you. The Prince of Peace will go before you. And as you follow Him, Christ our peace, and Christ the Prince of Peace, then you follow peace with everyone in Jesus' name. Before you talk, before you talk, the Prince of Peace will whisper the words of peace in your ears. And then that's what you repeat. And before you think anything, the Prince of Peace will whisper thoughts of peace in your life. And everywhere you go, he will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And it will be the peace of your life in Jesus' name. And holiness, what's holiness? You put your feet where Christ, who is leading you, is putting his feet. He puts one leg there, you put your leg there. He puts the other foot there, you put your foot there, and you are following Christ, following Christ, the Prince of Peace. Your life will be a holy life. You know, somebody said, holiness is tough. I said, I don't know why you think like that. I say now, if I'm walking in front of you and I say, follow me, can you do that? I said, yes, I can do that. If I tell you, anyway, put my foot, put your foot there, can you do that? He said, yes, I can do that. I said, but that's holiness. Christ is walking in front of you and he lives in holiness and he abides in holiness and then you just walk after him and put your foot where he put his foot and you say what he will say and you do what he will do and you think the way he will think and then you have his grace in your life from tonight you will be holy in jesus name you'll be following and following all the days of your life look at number two there number two here is forsaking pride and haughtiness from hell I needed to tell you where pride comes from I needed to tell you where haughtiness comes from because sometimes if you don't know 
you'll be eating whatever. You know, somebody went to the dunk hill, um, full of jams and all that, and then he searched everything, and he brought a tin of milk, and he brought a loaf of bread, and he bought cake, and he's bringing it, and then he's giving it to you. And I said, hold on, don't take that thing yet. Let me tell you, it came from the dunk hill, full of germs and bacteria. Will you take it? Whatever comes from hell, you shouldn't take. Lucifer was in heaven. Then he had pride. And because of that pride, he was cast down. Hotchiness came to him. And now since that time, Satan, Lucifer, that is uh, going to hell, and his abode is in hell forever and ever, he is the one that has bring this commodity they call pride, this commodity they call uh, haughtiness, and because it's coming from hell, will you take anything coming from hell? The next time pride is introduced to you know where that is coming from i will not take that i will not take that Hotchiness, bragging boasting coming from hell i will not take that you will not take it in jesus name look at isaiah chapter 14 isaiah chapter 14 and i'm reading from verse 12 it says how art thou fallen from heaven o lucifer son of the morning how art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations look at verse 13 it says for thou hast said in thine heart i will ascend into heaven and i will exalt my throne above the throne above the stars of god i will siege also upon the mount of the congregation and in the sides of the north look at verse 14 I will say above the heights of the clouds and I will be like the most high that's the pride and that's the haughtiness look at this now in verse 15 it says yet thou shall be brought down to hell to the sides of the pit that's why we say as we now have the peace of God and we're following the peace the prince of peace whatever comes to hell what comes from hell i reject i reject you know idea of suicide that's coming from hell i reject say it i reject and all those sinful things that you know it was this satan that went to eve and made her to eat the forbidden fruit and eve did not realize recognize this is coming from hell she accepted and she fell you will not fall i said you will not fall i come to point number three now number three the fullness of peace and hope of heaven the fullness somebody shout fullness, fullness. your cup will be full Amen. your heart will be full Amen. your life will be full Amen. full of joy full of peace Amen. full of healing Amen. full of deliverance and full of blessing all the days of your life in jesus name the fullness of peace and hope of heaven and look at romans chapter 15 we're reading from verse 13 romans chapter 15 reading from verse 13 now the god of hope fill you with all joy and peace in believing that ye may abound in hope through the power of the holy ghost that's a lot there and it is for you i said it is for you as you come in relationship with christ our peace the one who died for us so that every confusion so that 
every commotion will be taken out of your life and you come and say Lord I come I want to have total complete unbroken unbreakable relationship with Christ our peace the peace of God will fill your heart you know I was telling you we went to the northeast and then as we got there we prayed like we're going to pray tonight the prayer at that time was for these people I'm talking about the prayer tonight is for you I rejoice with you peace joy healing deliverance freedom provision success as we link up with Christ tonight in Jesus name this young man was called is called Dennis and after the prayer that day this this boy, young man had been tied always drugged to keep him quiet and calm and then he came to that global crusade and suddenly suddenly somebody shout suddenly, suddenly. he became normal after the ministration that we had that day can i show him your can i show you his face yeah. look at him now look at him so that dennis went to school of technology in taku after his graduation he has a serious challenge which affected his brain and he became so mad. After the prayer of Pastor Dr. W.F. Kumi, the sister started to discover that her brother has been recovered. Later in the night, he went up and tapped her sister that he wanted to eat and he wanted to release himself. So from that point, he was delivered totally. Then we brought him back here in Dila village. After bringing him here, we have been visiting him and we have been praying with him. And even this recent Baelsa crusade, we are together with him in the program. He was there and everything is okay with him and he's totally delivered by the grace of God. My name is Tosan Dennis. I want to be a good leader. I want to go back to school. And somebody shout, Amen! Everybody is being blessed everywhere. Everybody connecting with Christ everywhere. Now it's your turn. You will not miss your opportunity. Peace tonight. Fullness of peace tonight. And every blessing that comes with peace will come in your life tonight in Jesus' name. It's bowed and eyes closed. The Lord wants to bring you into a peaceful state of mind. Every confusion, every condemnation, every guilt, and all the punishment of your sin, the Lord wants to take away right now. And wants to make you a man of peace, a woman of peace, and a candidate for heaven. If you want that peace of God, and you want to connect in an, unbre in an unbreakable relationship with Christ, your peace right now, wherever you are, you raise up your hand. God bless you there. God bless you there and the peace and the joy of the Lord be yours even from this moment in Jesus name the Lord is waiting for you don't miss your chance to the right to the back to the front in the middle on the right hand side on the left hand side anywhere you are in the halls and then in the various locations on in every region and every state every country africa america asia uh, europe uh, anywhere you are you want this peace of god right now to reign in your heart and then all the relationships around you will be a relationship of peace 
you raise up your hand thank you god bless you if you're raising up your hand you please stand up you're raising up your hand please stand up amen amen wonderful wonderful the wonderful peace of god will settle in your heart the lord is waiting for you what are you picking them on in the in the on the ground get up get up get up and let the peace of god settle in your heart as you are standing up tell the lord oh lord i come thank you lord because i know you have invited me and i want peace in my heart all the condemnation taken away all the guilt taken away and i want to have the joy and the peace of forgiveness and i want to have the hope of heaven tell the lord tell the lord and tell him lord i believe you have called me i've responded and you will not cast me away you will not reject me tell the lord tell him i know that whosoever shall call on the name of the lord shall be saved i have called i am saved amen amen keep standing and pray with you now father we well, thank you today we we'll bless your name what a good god you are what a compassionate god you are and what a god of salvation you are i pray for everyone now i pray all their confusion all the commotion all the condemnation all the guilt and the punishment for sin take away in their lives in jesus name and i pray lord forgiveness will come to everyone peace will come to every heart joy will come to every heart and your salvation settled assured in every life right now in jesus name thank you lord because i know you have answered in jesus name i pray another amen a good resounding confirming amen it is done keep on standing our state pastor pastor andrew Sagi, will come now and lead us in this uh, in this um, counseling period in all the locations let our leaders take over now and also help us in this um, counseling period the peace of god settle forever in your life in jesus name the next time where you are remain standing where you are you are welcome into the kingdom of god give us all the particulars required there write in capital letters put your telephone number there go through it once again making sure no digit is missed 11 digits after you finish completing it give it to the counselor by you there counselors identify those who may not be able to write and help them to write if you are from some of the villages that have no clear address Tell the counselor to help you or you yourself give a vivid description of where you live so that we be of further help to you. You've just come into the kingdom, there is much in the kingdom of God. We want to be of further help to you. So complete the form and give it to the counselors. Those online, you look at the link that is there, key to it, and complete the form. We'll be able to be of further help to you. The rest of us, get ready to catch your miracle. I say, get ready to catch your miracle. Say, Amen. 
Get ready. Start saying bye bye to that problem. The Jishan you saw, the problem you saw before now, even now, after the last amen today, you will see them no more. After the last amen today, what will happen? I will see them no more. Say, I will see them no more. Today is your night. Today is your night. Say, today is my night. Today is my day. Counselors, please be fast. God bless you as you do that. When you finish, you let us know. Because tonight, your experience will be greater than your expectation. You will get more than what you bargain. Get ready. Get ready. There is a miracle with your name attached to it. You will get it. I will get it. As you have said, in the ear of God, God says, so it will be to you. So it will be to you. Counselors, if you are finished where you are, identify where there are more needs and help them. Get ready. Get ready. The power of God is here. That woman, just that she had a father in the Lord has arrived, Jalingo, the joy of the Lord in her heart delivered her of fibroid. You have greater opportunity. Prayer will be prayed for you. All the enemy has deposited in your life. Today, they will be offloaded. What will happen to them? They will be offloaded. Say they will be offloaded. You will see them no more. Counsel us when you are true, let us know. All over the globe, get ready. In Australia, get ready. In Jamaica, get ready. New Zealand, get ready. United States of America, get ready. United Kingdom, get ready. Ghana, get ready. Syria, get ready. All over Nigeria, get ready. The hour has come. Counselors, be fast. But do a thorough job. Speed and accuracy is efficiency. Be accurate. And by God's grace, every card you have there is a soul that has come into the kingdom of God. When you are true, 
The supervisors who will collect them from you will wave their hands at me. And please, after the last amen, nobody should go. You will give your testimony. Thank God the way you responded yesterday. Today, you are going to respond better. Because today is greater. Counselors, are you true? Counselors, remain where you are to help those who have need. You help the lame, raise them up, the power of God will strike them. Help those who are deaf, you speak to them. The Lord will cause a great sound to remove every problem there. Are we true? Counselors, I'm not seeing your hand. Are you true? You are true there? Okay. You are true there? Okay. What off? At my extreme left. Are you true? Brother there? Okay. God bless you. This is the hour of his power. Praise the Lord. The hour for your power has come. And there is power at this present hour for every one of you. It's my time. It's my time. Blind eyes will open. The lame will rise up and walk. Swelling so the body will vanish away. Amen. And every kind of incurable diseases, the Lord will take everything away tonight. Amen. You in particular, Amen. this is your night. Amen. You raise up one hand and you lay the other hand on yourself and expect your healing, deliverance miracle yes. father we well, thank you we we'll bless your name you are the god that cannot fail the impartial god you've done it for other people you're doing it for your people here and everywhere right now yes. manifest your power yes. take away every disease in their body in Jesus name Amen. every sickness I command you in the name of God in the name of Christ already born all those tribes for our healing I pray that healing will happen right now on everyone in jesus name a curable disease vanish away all that long-standing sickness be healed in jesus name blind eyes be open deaf ears be open Dumb tongues be loose. Amen. Swelling, get out of there. Amen. Insanity, madness, come out in Jesus' name. And here, be healed. Amen. Fibroid, be healed. Amen. Cancer, be healed. Amen. Ulcer, be healed. Amen. 
and every other kind of internal problem come out in Jesus name arthritis you are healed broken bones join together family now in Jesus name short leg grow out with that hands become fresh and strong and that spinal cord receive the miracle healing touch of the Lord now in Jesus name miracle everywhere now here over the radio on the television in every location every home everywhere connected online miracles in Jesus name healing everywhere deliverance everywhere manifestation manifestation power for this present hour is done it is done confirmation in your life in Jesus name I pray take up yourself your miracle is right there. Confirmation.